Hello, hello everybody. This is not going to be your standard World Warships video. We're going to talk about some issues I think this game is having right now, and I'm also going to answer a couple questions that people have been asking me about this game. And we'll start with number one, it's why I haven't been playing Legends all that much. And quite honestly, the answer is pretty simple. It's boring. This game is just in a really stale place right now because, in my opinion, this last update they brought into the game was like one of the most dull and boring updates that I've seen in a while. Now this is just my opinion. Again, totally my opinion, but you know, this is the campaign ship, the Kronstadt. I hate it. There's nothing I like about this thing. I don't want to play it. I've got 8,000 Elite XP. I haven't played it since a day two when they gave it to me. I can't stand it. They brought the Perth into the game. I've played about two games in the Perth. I don't find anything there that I really like or any reason I want to play it. Nothing jumps out at me. I don't really care for it. Meh. You know, I unlocked this thing from the Halloween event. I haven't even played it. I don't really have any desire to play it, especially based on what people have been telling me about it. The Bregonia came into the game, but still that's going to take, you know, multiple months if you like to play this thing and you want to play it. It's going to take you multiple months to unlock it and personally I hated this thing. Tiny guns that are meant for tier 6 at legendary tier and I just I played it a bunch and I never ever found anything that I really enjoyed about this ship. It would shatter and it would overpin and occasionally it would hit a good shot but then the, it was so sporadic and the dispersion was all over the map and I just did not like this thing at all. Probably the only uh, couple good things that came through in this update, which one of them I don't even care about. I mean, the Zeton, obviously this is the tier 7. The tier 8 got unlocked for those people that like to do that kind of thing, but I don't like running secondary builds as any kind of serious build on my ships. I just don't do it. I don't like to do it, and therefore I'm just not really interested in stuff like this. Now, you might look at the Bayard as a good thing to come into the game, but it's a long-range uh, kiting HE spam type of boat and that really doesn't fit into my play style. I've got Ochikov and I don't play Ochikov ever. I'm lucky to play that a couple times per update cycle. So this wasn't really that interesting to me as well. Which all that coalesces into the one thing that I was actually looking forward to in this update and that was the Halloween mode. Which initially I was really pumped Halloween modes back. That's really fun. That's cool. It was a lot of fun last year. And then we get in and we play it this time and there was nothing new. They put three different ships in, but it was literally the exact same thing as the previous one. And I'm not going to lie, I went in sleep deprived, half drunk with Spartan and Beast and we beat it in like five games. It was over. Like, I don't even think it took like 45 minutes or an hour. It was over. We beat it. I mean, as you can see, it still says it's available for 14 more days. I get, you know, some people might play it once or twice or you know, once a week, five times a week, whatever, to try and finish this. But from what I've been able to see on stuff like Facebook, people were able to get through this extremely quickly. And I think this was going to be here for something like three weeks. So all that combined into why am I not really playing Legends that much? Well, it's because I'm really kind of bored with this update. I think this is one of the more boring updates that I've witnessed. There was really nothing appealing in there for me at all. And then the one thing that I was actually really looking forward to was done in less than an hour, which is, you know, it's kind of sad. And it was honestly a little bit disappointing as well, like when I went to actually play this, because I thought the whole storyline with the Halloween event was really cool. The first one we had to escort and we had to we had to bomb the ships, but also they had land targets we had to shoot. And I thought that was that was kind of unique. That was neat. And then last year, Transylvania comes through the portal, so it's almost like we're getting a storyline here where we've got something going that's more than just a simple game mode. We got a storyline building here, and then they they dump out this Halloween mode, and there was there was nothing new. There was the story didn't keep going forward. I don't know what happened with the development team, maybe them like having the ordeal with Russia, but you would still think like maybe there would be something more going on. I mean, we used to have like the duck game mode and Rust and Rumble came in and uh, we used to have ranked. Where What happened to sweaty six on six rank? That was a lot of fun. You know, you had to play a bunch of games to get through it. I mean, we haven't had arena in a really long time. What happened to sweaty arena? I mean, we had arena without power ups and power ups and it was like, it seemed like there was constantly new stuff coming in and different game modes and different quirks and stuff. And then now it seems like I don't feel like we've got anything going on in the game. It just, it feels stale. I'm playing the same ships on the same maps, experiencing the same bugs 
on a day in and day out basis and then I'm looking forward to this and then this honestly kind of disappointed me. So I've, I've just kind of pumped the brakes on playing Legends so much because I, I don't want to put out like bad content. Like I don't want to be that guy that's constantly negative about a game, especially one that I like so much like this, but it just, it's everything is coming together in the perfect storm to make me just want to go do something else with my time. And that answers the simple question, why am I just not really playing Legends all that much? at the moment. Now next update that might change everything and this is obviously just my opinion but this is how I feel and so that's what I'm telling you. You guys can let me know down below what you guys think what you're experiencing right now but that's part one to the problem as to why I'm not really playing as much. The other part and I've been racking my brain as to like what can be done about this but the teammates that I'm playing with and I'm playing against, I'm honestly starting to wonder if they're real people. Like, have you ever thought that? It's like, there's no way this is actually, this boat's actually being driven by a real player. There's just no way, right? Because the game's been out for so long and even if they're new players, I don't play at new player tiers. I play Legendary, I play tier eight and I play tier seven. Tier seven takes a long time to get up there if you're a new player. I'm not talking about someone buying a campaign ship. I'm just talking grinding up a tech tree line. And I've just seriously, like over the last month, looked at some of these players and gone, there's no way this guy's real. There's just no way. Like people that just park broadside and just let you sit at them and then they still sit there and they see you sit at all again and they're like almost dead. And they're like not moving or changing course or doing anything at all. They're like, this is fine, totally fine. It makes me like, there's just no way. And you're experiencing that not only on the red team, but on the blue team and so like, a majority of these matches are like over before you've even really been able to like get into position to try and do anything. And then from that point, you just either get swamped or you swamp the other team. Like the days of having matches go to the 15 minute marker, where it used to be like, it would seem like almost all the games would go significantly deep into the play clock, you know? two minutes left on the game and then we finally win or we lose or whatever or it comes down to points the 15 minute marker it seems like that just doesn't happen anymore and i honestly don't know who to blame here like i i, I am only i'm only forced to like draw one conclusion and that's just that the, there's a lack of support for this game from the higher ups there's a lack of fundamental teaching from the higher up level to help these players understand what they need to do, what they should and should not be doing, and there's a ton of stuff that Wargaming can do that would help the player base significantly, but they just have refused to do it. And I've been bringing it up for a long time that they should be doing something and it's nothing is being done. And it just seems like it's making the game harder and harder to play. And it's, it's absolutely, for me, it's sucking some of the fun that I really enjoy in this game. It's just, it's deleting it. And now I'm gonna show you like just a couple of just primo prime examples of, of what I'm talking about here. This is one of like eight games that I played earlier with just some friends that I just recorded for fun just to see what would happen, you know, cause you never really know. Pretty much all content creators when they play, they record just, just in case they have a great game. Yeah, let me show you what I'm talking about here. So I'm up close to the cap, RDD dies here, still a Shima in the cap. I'm spotted the entire time, so the Shima knows exactly where I am. I'm kind of baiting it, I'm kind of hoping he pulls out here. You know, a good player wouldn't pull out here, but I'm, I'm hoping that I'm gonna catch him off guard by coming forward just a little bit. And then this guy pops up at four kilometers. Like, not even close to like his detectability. And boom, he gets slammed and guess what? He ends up dying like just right after this. Now my teammate's gonna go fight this guy who spawned with his team here on the opposite side of the cap and he decided to go all the way around for no reason. I was spotted 90% of the time. I show up and guess what? And he never even thought to look for me. Like, and he knew what I was doing. He knew I was backing up right there, but he was so hyper-focused on that one target. And it just makes me wonder. It's like, how do you, how do you, where, where's the lack? Is it a lack of situational awareness? Is it, is it a lack of understanding of the game? Where, where is the dysfunction here? Oh, but it gets so much better. So I'm communicating with my teammate. Hey, we're gonna end up losing this cap, but I'm gonna slap this conquer really hard. I'm gonna kill this conquer. You know, you're gonna have to kill these two cruisers, but then the game should pretty much be over. We got a couple guys that are just way back there in the fray. Don't know what they're doing. Don't know what they're fighting, but it doesn't matter. I'm gonna go down here, but I'm gonna do the best I can. Take as much hit points off the board while I can. I think I've done enough. I can, I can, you know, I can rest peacefully here. 
because I've, I've done a lot as a solo battleship, essentially, holding that cap, killing Ishima, killing that full health Kong. I mean, the game's pretty much over at this point, right? Somehow, we're gonna take, we had like a 400 point lead. We have the ship advantage, we have the cap advantage, and including my own teammate, they, they all pushed into the middle to let a Wooster and a Cab and a Yom just farm them to death. And we lost the damn game. We lost the game. And it's just like, we were at 980 points at one point. Like we were about to win, the game was about to be over. And then someone gets killed. And it's like, and yet literally the very next game, here's another perfect example of what the hell are you actually doing, blue team? You just, you just gotta watch this, just to try and, you maybe you can make some sense out of it. Game just starts, Kobler says, fuck it, we're going for it, dude. And just goes for some massive YOLO. I shot ahead, thinking that guy's gonna pull up forward. Um, he doesn't, he just sits there. You know, he sits there while the Kobler is just YOLOing him. Obviously, Kobler is gonna die. He went into their spawn in the first, like, two, three minutes. And then that guy's gonna die, and it's just like, what am I watching? Like, what is actually going on here? So now it's like, oh, I'm gonna move up, but all their ships, all their battleships, are huddled in their spawn, trying to position behind the island in the backside of their flag. Nobody moved up. Well, I think one guy moved up, but then everyone else sat back and like hid, and there were there weren't even like threats of danger. Like, I'm up here close, and I can barely have the range to reach out and hit him. And I'm like the only one in the middle, you know? And it's just like, what are we going to do as a, as a community that enjoys the game? How are we going to teach these players what they're doing is wrong? What they need to be doing is this. They, you know, how do we get that knowledge out to the player base? Or is it a complete lost cause? I honestly don't know. Like, I just don't know. You know, I've joked around about it a lot, but spawn A, go C, blah, 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 blah. Like, it's so true. People, I don't know why, I don't see, I don't understand where this deficit is really coming from in this game. I honestly, at this point, don't know how we're gonna fix the state of the game between the stale content, the, the bugs currently in the game, the lack of knowledge on player sides, and a lack of just fundamental activities that we could be doing. I mean, ranked should be coming in every month. I don't care when, ranked every month. Arena every couple months, you know, just for a weekend. Constantly spamming that new different content. So I feel like what this game needs to be doing and we're not getting it done. I realize not every ship that comes into the game is gonna be great or overpowered or, you know, even fit into the meta a little bit. But I do feel like you're gonna want to continue to bring in good ships. I'm not saying stuff that's not challenging to play. Stuff like Plymouth, that was challenging, and I enjoyed it. But when they bring stuff in like Ark Royal, like, okay, I'm sure there's some people out there that really enjoy it, and there's some people that bought it to be a collector, but I'm not gonna play Ark Royal no matter how good it is. That off, that's me, I don't play tier five, but even if it was tier seven, I, I wouldn't play it more than like once a night. Does that make sense? So we need, we need that stuff coming in that people are gonna wanna play. And as far as Wargaming is concerned, the lack of fundamental content that Wargaming is providing their new players and their, their players that are struggling is just astounding to me because I'm showing you something. This is from PC. Right on their homepage, worldofwarships.com, EN, content, education. They've got a training tab. Look, video for beginners, the basics, the ship types, the control and firing, the in-game economy, upgrading the ship. Tips and tactics, clans, challenges, communication, how it works videos, which are super interesting to watch if you guys haven't seen the how it works videos, but they're they're awesome. You hit the media tab and it immediately brings you over here to their YouTube channel. But let's go ahead and look and see what when they've been releasing content for their YouTube channel. Three days ago, three days ago, four days ago, five days ago, six days ago, nine days ago, 10, 13, two weeks, two weeks, two weeks, two weeks, two weeks, two weeks, three weeks. So if you're picking up anything I'm saying here, I know there's a bigger player pool on that game, but if they want this game to be taken seriously at all, and this game to grow, then I think they're gonna have to step it up and start doing these things. And they could implement this and put it right into the game, and I'm guaranteeing you a lot of people are gonna reach out and find this kind of stuff. The Wargaming, I, I don't know if they think the CCs are gonna do all this for them, but we don't have any kind of pull anywhere with the community base that plays this game. A majority of the people that play the game, from what I'm told, 
do not go onto YouTube and look stuff up. But if they were to have links and stuff like right here in game that you could go to and you could check it out, I feel like that would be a huge boost for the overall player base. Maybe I'm dead wrong. Maybe you guys have some solutions that would be good to implement. If that's the case, then you can let me know and we can pass that information along. I don't know that anything will be done with that information, but hey, at the end of the day, if this game flops, we'll be able to say, at least we tried. The last thing I ever want to see is for this game to flop because I've really enjoyed my time playing this game. I've made a lot of friends from playing this game, and honestly, there's nothing else out there like it. Not even close, not even in the same spectrum. War Thunder is nowhere near like this. I could never get into War Thunder. I've played it. There's some other stuff out there, but this is like the best version of it all. I don't even care for PC ships because it's too long and drawn out. This one's more action packed. It's more in your face. I enjoy that. I enjoy Legends over PC tenfold, but some of the stuff they put in this game with the Rick Roll RNG is just absolutely obnoxious. And the inaccuracy and the just really comes down to RNG and I get RNG is just completely random, but sometimes it doesn't always feel that way. But you guys can let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think. Give me your opinions on this and we'll just go from there. I appreciate all you guys out there watching, making it all the way to the end of the video. Thank you guys. Hope you all have a great day. Until next time. Peace.